Hi, this is Dr. Roost from Delta Chiropractic Center, and I'm talking today about disc health like we did a couple days ago. That day we talked about how a disc fails and the fact that twisting plays a role in that, chronic twisting, misalignments in the spine, those are the things that cause most discs to fail and to prolapse eventually uh, rather than a trauma. Once in a while a trauma will do it, usually it's chronic twisting on the disc. Today I want to talk about hope and the fact that discs can heal. A lot of times uh, we'll see patients who have been told by their uh, surgeon or neurologist that the only hope for them is surgery, lopping off part of the disc to get that to uh, heal. Uh, and that's not always true and I always recommend uh, conservative treatment first uh, and surgery as a last resort. So let's talk about what you can do to allow a disc, a disc to heal. If you recall, uh, I showed you with a jelly donut the other day what happens to a disc, but here's a plastic model uh, looking at a disc. Of course, the disc is the material between the vertebrae, um, and the disc is made up a, of a uh, fibrous outer part called the annulus and then the inner part called the nucleus pulposus. If the disc, the outer part of the disc gets cracks in it, the jelly type disc can leak out. If it does that, it can swell, it can prolapse, or it can break off and sequester uh, and if those pieces of nucleus pulposus happen to impinge on a nerve, that's when you get disc symptoms, which can include leg pain, back pain, uh, leg numbness, muscle weakness. Uh, if it gets bad enough, you get something called cauda equina syndrome, which is where the, uh, from there on down, the nerves all the way down to the bottom of the spinal cord aren't working right. That can cause some very significant, uh, even uh, emergency problems like loss of bladder function, loss of uh, um, bowel function uh, control, uh, what's called saddle paresthesia, which is numbness in the crotch, uh, or muscle wasting in the leg. Those are serious issues that need to be addressed quickly because that can become a permanent disability. Now short of that, uh, discs don't necessarily need to have surgical intervention. What determines that is you, the patient's uh, ability, to, ability to function and to um, tolerate the pain levels while that disc is healing because that uh, prolapse can be drawn back into, oh, the phone, let me kill that, can be sucked back into and can heal inside the disc and then the annular part can, the fibrous part can heal too. So you can go on functioning. A lot of people have that kind of disc swelling, disc prolapse and even sequesters sequestra without any symptoms, no pain at all because those aren't impinging on nerves. So if you get an MRI that says you've got a disc prolapse, it doesn't necessarily mean surgery. So what can you do conservatively to help a disc heal? And there are a number of things. Number one, gentle chiropractic adjustments. And by gentle, one of the things I would be very careful with is when you're being adjusted, don't put a lot of twist into the spine while you're being adjusted. So at Delta Chiropractic Center, we use the Pro Adjuster, which is a computerized instrument that gently taps the vertebrae back in place without any twisting, uh, as opposed to the traditional manual adjustment, which can, if you're not careful, put introduce twisting in there and cause more trouble. So gentle adjustments, particularly Pro Adjuster. Uh, number two, traction of that spine, pulling the spine apart. You can picture how if you pull it apart, it could put, cause a vacuum in there to try to suck that back in. Uh, there's a computerized um, flexion distraction technique, I forget what it's called, that uses a machine to do that gently and under controlled, um, controlled atmosphere. At, here at the office, we use a manual distraction at times that helps suck that back in. Uh, some of the exercises that can help with disc rehab, rehab include things like the Sphinx maneuver, or the um, pelvic tilt maneuver. Those should be done under the um, observation or control of a chiropractor so they can monitor which one of those is more effective, more appropriate for your particular situation. Um, basically, what you're usually trying to do is introduce more curve into the low back so that it takes stress off that disc. So again, the uh, sphinx is usually more effective than the pelvic tilt but your chiropractor will help you sort through that. Um, other exercises include the uh, bird dog, can be a helpful one. That's a, just kind of a general good maneuver. Uh, the dead bug exercise, if you're familiar with that, can be a gentle uh, core stabilizing thing that doesn't endanger the lumbar spine or the discs. So there are some things that can be done. 
You also have to make sure you've got enough nutrients. The discs get nutrition uh, from the bone above and below, feeding blood vessels into there. And there's something called imbibition, where if a disc is moving through gentle, proper motion, not twisting, but uh, extension, uh, that motion causes what's imbibition, which is the disc drawing nutrients from the blood vessels in the bone above and below into the disc so healing can happen. So imbibition, you can look it up. Uh, it's a, a good concept that covers how discs get nutrition. All right, so discs do not mean you're condemned to surgery. They also do not necessarily mean you're condemned to a lifetime of pain or muscle weakness or any of those factors. Uh, so get under chiropractic care, stay under chiropractic care, do your exercises properly and gently and consistently. Um, and then um, you'll find yourself healing. That's the way God made us. Our bodies are designed to be able to heal. So um, with proper care and awareness of what not to do, like twisting, do not twist, um, you can find things healing, even from pretty desperate situations. I love my job because we see patients who come from uh, feeling hopeless to feeling hope, from being told there is no hope to finding a pathway back to health. And, and chiropractic is all about that. We're here to help you get better, stay better. We're glad to be able to do that. So contact us at 517-321-3030 or get us at our website, which is delta-chiro.com. Uh, we'll be glad to be part of your team. We'll see you down the trail.